So I looked at my portfolio and I just felt it was a little bit too um, full of males. There were just too many guys in it. And uh, a lot of the big commercial jobs would probably involve a female in it. So I looked at my portfolio and I said, okay, I have to do something about this. So what I usually do is I do a few test shoots with different models uh, in exchange for prints and use of the photos, just find them online. Uh, so this is one of those shoots um, with a nice girl. And um, we just did it around the corner from my house and as well as down the road on these uh, abandoned, uh, abandoned train tracks. And who are you? I'm Haley. Yeah. <laughs> Haley, and uh, can you just say like, hello, I'm Haley, and today we're doing the shoot with Joey. Or just something, <laughs> you know, some, something along those lines. It doesn't have to be so, so geeky. <laughs> oh, I'll be geeky. Yeah, yeah, so, a, a, a sound bite. <laughs> I am Haley, and today I'm doing a shoot with Joey. <laughs> that, was, that was amazing. <laughs> so the first setup of the day was just down by the train. And um, here the makeup artist is putting the makeup on Haley. And I don't know a thing about makeup, but apparently women seem to like it. Um, if anything, I think that having somebody there for the makeup and hair will just make the model a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera. Even if you feel like they're doing things that don't even matter, that won't change a thing, um, I'd say just, just let them. So, uh, here we are at the location. There's some sketchy fellas about, but uh, you know, it's a very interesting location. Uh, the old abandoned train yard. Smells like a sewer around here. Um, know how to pick them, don't I? Probably gonna get robbed. <laughs> Just say no mention, and some crazy guy comes up. Make sure you film it. Like yells at us and stuff. Yeah. Just so you know. <laughs> okay. Don't hesitate. <laughs> I'll fight him off. So in this shot, I put the beauty dish at a little bit of an angle so the hot spot is feathering downwards a bit and it isn't so direct on the face because that'll end up looking a little bit too harsh. Now you'll see in this video that we are shooting a little bit toward the end of the day. So that sun that's behind the model is actually acting as a backlight. However, it's not quite powerful enough for my taste. So I add another light behind the model replicating that sunlight. So it has a uh, warming gel on it to replicate the warm light uh, towards sunset. So that's hitting her hair, just giving a little bit of definition. Can I try some without the hand there? Just kind of like really relax, you know, maybe hands even in your pockets a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Let's try that same, yeah, you did it already. I was going to say lift your chin up, but you did it way before I said. And just try to turn your body just a little bit more toward this light here, uh, the other way. Yeah, exactly. But still looking into the camera. Yeah. And come just a little bit more frontal to me. Um, a little bit back, yeah, exactly, right there. Just right there is where the light is going to actually hit you the best. And try not to like lean your head back so much. Cool. I used the ND filter trick I described in the advanced lighting section of this tutorial uh, to underexpose the entire scene so I could get a slightly larger aperture. Um, just to get a little bit of blur in, in the background. There's not much because it's a wide shot, but it just looks a little bit better in my opinion. So for this shot, I use a 0.6 Lee and D filter. And we did the second setup just right around the corner from my apartment in Brooklyn. Um, I, every day when I walk toward the subway, um, I, I just see this kind of uh, spray painted wall there and I thought it would work good for a photo. Cloud. Okay, so for this light setup, very simple. My main light is a silver beauty dish here, lighting her face. It's a little bit to the side to give a little bit of shadow and definition on her face. Okay, and then uh, I have this light coming from behind, uh, which has a warming gel on it. So that is to warm up the picture a little bit, make the light orange instead of just plain white. And that hits a little bit of this door here, as well as this side of her hair. And then I have someone standing right here, just because I don't have another studio light with me, just this uh, Canon speed light, the 580. Just standing here with another color gel on this side. And this one is just hitting the other side of her hair and a little bit of this cheek here. Outside, um, we were shooting with the graffiti, and um, a lady went past in her car, and she was like, work it, girl. 
So all in all, it was a simple day and I got the two shots that I needed for my portfolio.